What's going on, guys? So, baby girl got a wash today. Yeah, it rained. So, uh, I'm gonna show you guys what's going on with the Miata. I recorded a partial video yesterday. I'm gonna finish the video up today for you guys. I have a towel because the back, it, it was raining like I said. The back has a hole in the roof. So, damn, this motherfucker leaks a lot. Okay. Let's go, I cleaned it. Finally looks clean in here again. Cleaned the dash and everything. I have a rattle, this stupid thing rattles up here. I need to pull all that out and replace it, but. I haven't got around to doing that yet. So let's go up under the hood so I can show you guys what I did in preparation for the turbo system. All right, so what I did uh, that day, I started to record the tee off section for the oil pressure and brought this line, this line here, brought it to this side of the motor, which what we're gonna do with this line is it's gonna go over here to the turbo and I'll show a picture of what the turbo looks mounted here because I did take a picture when I had the manifold off got that little sexy ass bitch built last night so what we're gonna do today is I want to run the oil line gotta install this little fitting up under the car this is on the passenger side under the wheel it goes right fuck is it by the oil filter right there so I gotta unscrew that and put this little fitting in there alright guys that's where it's at right there next to the oil filter where that socket is so now we just need to start unscrewing this the rest of the way here it is oil pressure sensor alright guys now we have the oil pressure sensor on the T so this is going to give us our oil pressure out to the turbo and this is on the passenger side of the motor by the starter and the oil filter oil filter is literally right next to the oil pressure sensor so and this little guy is the oil pressure sensor so you pull that out you thread it into the T and that gives you the output here for the turbo oil so I'm going to go ahead and kind of place this up in that general area by the oil filter and then I'll get back to you guys this line has oil pressure now and where it goes on the 1.8 everybody's doing videos on the 1.6 so if you're wondering where the oil line has to come from if you're building a 1.8 turbo it has to come from up under the intake let me see if I can zoom into that spot right there and it's not bright enough so you guys aren't gonna be able to see it but right next to the oil filter right there is the oil pressure sensor right there you can kind of see the plug right there there's the oil pressure sensor and like I showed you tee it off right there so the oil line is going around the block and going over to there which is the turbo is going to get mounted right there so that's how that's going to work and then up under the car I started to film um, the installation of the as in here we have alright I moved this boot off the rack and pinion and I moved this power steering hose out of the way right here I don't know if you guys can see that this power steering hose got moved out of the way now I have a clear shot to the oil pan to drill my hole right there where that little gray spot is so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a uh, a hole punch and drill that hole out oil line so for the oil outline for the turbo and that's what that ended up looking like right there so I just have a thread sealant on the uh, NPT thread that I screwed and tapped I changed the oil after I did that um, I greased the threads of the drill bits the flutes of the drill bits and the uh, the flutes of the tap and got it pretty clean with the uh, with draining the oil I got all the little bits out of there and then I uh, I sprayed the whole brake cleaner to wash that all the way to the back of the oil pan and we got that blocked off now so it's ready to go with the turbo so that's pretty much it I had the turbo mounted I built the downpipe um, 
almost ready to put the turbo on all that's left at this point is to put the uh, to weld the, the manifold and that should be it the downpipe is made everything else is good to go I actually put the coil and plugs on there too all right guys thanks for watching make sure to subscribe like the videos share them so we can get the channel build up like I said um, next video is probably gonna be on the Z I know you guys been waiting for that um, I got the intake coming in the mail so um, I don't know when it's coming though it's coming from California they said it was on back order the still engine 3 intake system uh, has been on back order I guess they sold a lot of them so we're still waiting on that but we're gonna get it going pretty soon um, I want to get that car on the road for summer so all that's left is paint under tray and the little fender well inner fenders things and uh, there's a piece that I need welded that's aluminum and that should be it um, then we can take it up to the, the DMV and get it uh, registered and everything alright guys thanks for watching peace out <laughs>